out here uh, combining oats. Started yesterday. Kind of fits and starts. See a few weeds here, a few big weed, lamb squirter right there. But generally, this is a decent oat field. And this was a transitional ground. This is one of the three fields that um, my first year of transition. Really, what we're after is this clover down here. And um, I've gone through a combine. The clover is a nice stand of clover, medium red clover. Right next to Highway 63, right here. Oh, it's an old gravel pile from an old farmstead on the other side. So we got just a little bit. I did one round of combining, and I noticed there was a problem with this cutter bar head. And this is uh, a sample of the oats. There's a pea there. Doesn't look too bad. There's a little bit of some kind of a, a rust or a slight rust on it, but you know, take the chance that these are going to be good. Took the sample in to get tested. It's at uh, 34 point something test weight, and the minimum is 32 pounds per bushel. So I met that for the feed grade, and then the moisture at this point I think was 15.9 or 15.5, and I need to get that moisture down to 13 and a half or below, preferably 13. So the idea would be we're going to uh, combine it, dump it into that grain truck, that red truck over there. That's 600 bushels at a time, and then truck it, um, drive it it's about four miles north up to the farm in the bin and load it into the bin. Uh, it's about 10 o'clock on, or 11 o'clock on Tuesday morning, or Thursday morning rather. The problem we were having with this about the right hand half, the half in front of on the camera here, of this cutter bar, which is right here was not cutting and material was accumulating on the front edge here and I couldn't figure out why what was going on that it would this side would cut fine the left hand side but the right hand side wouldn't and what we came up with was that we needed to replace these knives were dull the existing knives these knives here they have a serrated edge that moves back and forth over these cutter guards so I decided to go ahead and strip all these out and replace them. Replace the knives, replace the cutter guards. So I've got a few knives to go here. So I'm going to spend the next couple hours getting those in place and bolted down and um, put back together again. And I've got to do an adjustment with these guards to get them all right. And one of the challenges under here, they've got the hydraulic um, ground sensor, I'm not sure what you call it, but for the flex head. And these particular ones right above the flex arm are really a bear to get in there. Um, the rest of them, those aren't bolted up yet. They're just sort of hanging there. I haven't snugged those up, but... The underside looks like, and I've got my safety stop on for both the, uh, the head and the reel. So that's the plan for today. There's probably three or four days of combining to do here. Most of it, I think, I can direct cut. There are probably 30 acres I'm going to have to swath. And come out here. So some places oats didn't grow, but the clover did. And there's some foxtail right here on the edge of the field, but these are what the oats, the variety is uh, rains. And I don't know how it's yielding. It seems to be okay. Um, they'll be sold as calf feed in the conventional market. Well, there you have it. I stay out.